All right, guys, day number two has started. I'm pretty jacked up. The boys are on their way back in. Hopefully I have the coffee ready for them by the time they get here. And we're gonna set up for some big togue today. We're after that double digit togue this trip. We're also gonna try to catch some salmon. I've never caught a salmon on a jig rod. It's been a few years since I've caught a landlocked salmon anyway. So I'll probably set one trap for salmon, put three lines for togue and then jig. With my fifth line, you're allowed five lines in Maine. The vibe going around everybody is we're going for a double digit togue, something huge. So we're setting with big suckers, dead bait, mangled bait right on the bottom. This is our freaking cast light right here. Ho! Oh. Set this thing up tonight. Well, I guess now's as good a time as any. Morning. Morning, guys. We're good on firewood right now? Yeah, I should be good. Yeah. We got, I, I got a 20 this, bushel exact to come back. We got 10 more crates full, of wood. This okay. is full. We got plenty of wood. Well, see if I grab the right trap. I was hoping I grabbed the same one, so it was the same bottom one. Oh, yeah. How about that right there? Isn't that nice? How was the ride in? Fantastic. Good. Roads all good now? Roads were excellent this morning. Good. Jeez, Bob, you're setting off a close to me, ain't you? Yeah, I'm about ready to cut you off. <laughs> that a cool looking morning, ain't it? Yeah. I told you there wouldn't be no headlights come up late before us, didn't I? No, you were right. I saw, those, <laughs> I saw those headlights a long ways off. I run down that, there's a big wet hole off Mayberry. It's like slosh? Yeah. Uh-oh. Not, nothing you get stuck in, but. I can. Definitely. Oh. Double digit. They're in here. We're looking for, what are we looking for? 10, 12? 10 plus. 10 plus. I need 13. That's my goal. Brandon caught a 13 last week? 12.95 last week, yeah. 12.95. I, I wouldn't even count it if it wasn't 13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta have one bigger now. The smelts are here like crazy. There, there's two pods of smelt right here. There's fish on that. Whoa. Oh, do you wrap you? It wrapped around the friggin' thing. He must have been flying then. Did, it, did it hook him? I think so, Joe. It felt heavy. Do you hear him? You got one on? Working on it. <laughs> it all starts with one. Good one. Big holler, I'll drop the camera. Don't feel too wild. Nice one. Number one, Joe. All right, buddy. Huh? Woo! That's awesome. Man, they I are some... I'll, did you see me stand up? I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> You just set this I, thing. I didn't even get my third trap in the hole. No. This hole swallowed, right here is gonna swallow it, right? It was nuts. You need a you need a thing? Nah, I'll just cut it, Joe. Kind of lucky trap though. It's a little this little. This could have been the brook trout trap. It might be green, actually. Green, watch green crooked flag. That's the thing. You get one lucky trap, and man, I know the feeling. Four of these jacks right here I bought in 2000 and 2006. I was working down in Philadelphia. As I'm way home, I stopped at Curry Trade Post about five. I used to travel a lot. I never got home very much. The first, pretty much the first. Ten years, nine, ten years. I was out of, I was out of school. I did nothing but travel. Now that I have a family and stuff, I just said the hell with it. Traveling's fun until it's not. Oh, I made so much money and blew it all. <laughs> I, I can't say I blew it all. You know what I mean? I have, I have a lot. But what were you doing? When I first got out of high school, I'd get on the lobster boat 
and then get done like in December and then January 1st I've I've always I've always done quite a bit of welding yeah my father had a fab shop my whole life so I knew what I was doing you know what I mean yeah I was working down home at a power plant I got laid off my father called one of the traveling outfits that he used to he used to uh you want that big one? donkey big bait headed down <laughs> Yeah, just kind of give them something to chew on. Squash that back end up. Usually keeps them from setting your flag off. Makes them wiggle a little bit. I, small hook, but I don't mean nothing. Yep, 15 pound will be on the end of that one next time we see him, Joe. I love it. Lucky trap and everything. Oh, boys. So anyway, so I worked for a boiler company. We'd go to Philly and work for a week. Then we'd be, we'd be in New Jersey for a week, be in Connecticut for a week. And we might be in Florida for a month and up in Michigan for a month. Wow. Uh, Chicago, Tulsa, Oklahoma where I work. And you got to see the country. I seen the whole, I worked in every state east of Mississippi. Wow. Before I was probably 21. Good for you. Oh, I'd make my first tied a lobster, and it weren't it weren't like it used to be. You know what I mean? You'd make pretty good money, and then you'd have to do something else, you know. And then we had a few good years lobster, and I got lazy and I stopped traveling. <laughs> I got kids, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was fun. You guys catch them down east a lot better than my buddies do at mid coast. I fished with my uncle for 14 years since I got out of high school. Yeah. I, I I took one season off. I was working down, you ever been in Newport, Rhode Island? Yep, I have. You know the Powell Bridge? The giant bridge yep. that goes from Newport? We yep. painted it. No way, really? Yeah, I've been hanging all over that bridge. Yeah, we painted it. It was $65 an hour, dude. We, was, Jeez. we lived it on the military base, and over, base over there in uh, Middletown. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know right where you're talking. Is this light still on? Rented a, four, rented a four bedroom apartment. There was five of us that lived in it. Four, one in each bedroom and I had an air mattress. Of course. We lived there for... Well, I went to Westfield, Massachusetts. I don't know if you know where the Westfield nope. River is, but that's right solid full of rainbows. We used to catch them. Wow. We'd watch a stalking truck come down. We'd be working on the bridge and that stalking truck would leave. We'd run down there and get our fishing poles and peel them nice. <laughs> oh, dude, that thing's look at that. Oh, my God. That's that big sucker. Go on, look. What happened there? Dude, the fish just ripped it. He still got it. You better let him eat that one, huh? Oh, yeah, I gotta let him go. He's, look at him. He's 100 feet past the line, bottom marker right now. What the heck? That must come out of your pocket. See there? Oh yeah. Woo! Ah! <laughs> Took bait and all. No! Oh man. Well, he's gonna be a little bigger. Just ripped a 14 inch sucker out of my hand, didn't it? Yeah. Unreal. So what do you do, drill that as you were setting it? Look, padded my line off. No. Oh man, that's even worse. Well, you got a hook out. <laughs> Whoa. 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 That thing is fighting on. That big fish bite. Nice fish. Oh, nice yeah. little five pounder. Wrap. Got a, something to ride with. Thank you, buddy. Nice one. Four pounder. Nice fish. Nice fish. Look how dark he is. He's darker than usual. 
healthy. All of them are super That's fat. That's what he said. Year. Crazy fat. Yeah. I think there's a lot of smelts in here. Give me a hand on that too. Nice one. Yeah, that one's about darker in the pocket, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's pretty fish. That's over 24. It's almost Chamberlain Lake here. Nice! He's on the board! Nice. He's all good and I fetched him up. Yeah. Well, he's all wrapped up. Well, that's number two for the day, guys. We got a long way to get to 25. Oh, oh man, no. the sun ain't up yet. Boy, some of these some of these dubs ain't even set their traps yet. I ain't know. even got mine in yet. <laughs> oh, my so you're lucky that thing goes off. My sounder's sitting on bottom. <laughs> I watched that one go up. Oh, oh yeah. Holy I like it. I like it. Wow. That's good. I didn't see it. I, oh, I just well, I watched it. Have, oh, I got a flag. No, I watched it go Whoa, up. Whoa, Colin. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Peeling. That thing's making power. Oh, yeah. You see I that? It's making power. Yeah, yeah. We only got an extension cord. <laughs> See what happened. Huh. Boiling, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Doing the same thing when I got up to it. Feeling something? Yeah. Uh -huh. Awesome. Don't know. Hey, cat, want to get off the rope? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh, he's still there. Coming in the hole. Is he? Yeah. Unless I lost him again right there. I'm telling you right now, that fish was just on there. That fish just came back after because he just Drop him. tugged on it. Drop him. We'll take it before you get, get it reset. That was weird. He was up high when he took it, too, weren't he? Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you right now, that fish took it again. He was following the blood trail. Me and Kyle were jigging right in that hole the other day, and I marked a tog, and he wasn't biting, so I see if he see if he chased me up, and he chased me up 10 feet, and he'd frig around, and he chased me up another 10 feet, and he'd frig around, and then it got to the point where he followed it up like five feet, and Kyle was looking down the hole, watching the fish swim around, and I <laughs> never caught the fish. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? You oh, think, yeah. You figure you get him up off the bottom there as good as caught. Oh, yeah. As soon as they chase, you're like, yep, game over. He's going to bite. Some of these yeah, lakes sure. with so many toads, oh, they yeah. still, they're just, they don't do it. Swipe. You like that, Kaleo. Yeah. That's flat. Good I coffee. mean, if it's flashing like that to us, that's got to be flashing to them pretty, pretty intensely. Every time I put this Cleo down, I've always had There's action. There's the fish right there coming out. At it right in the background. See yeah, it? Yeah, I see it. He's on it, right? Oh, just, just left it. Nice. Turn it around. Was that just a silver Cleo or is it painted? It's uh, actually a gold. Oh, 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 here he comes. Jeez. I'm swiping it. There's oh. two there. Oh, no, that was just silk. Photos. There you go. Oh, Got, him. <laughs> right. Got him. That's awesome. I that love, is, that. I feel love like that awesome. camera. Feels nice, but I know what it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Still pretty awesome. Though. Two and a half pound toad. I love yeah, that. That's so much friggin' fun. Caught one uh, eight pounds at the East Grand once on the jig stick. It's my biggest too, 715. That was something. Wow, else. that's awesome on a jig stick. There you go. Oh, really cooking nice one. Send them. All right, who's up? What you working on in here, fellas? I don't know. Depends on what you're looking for. Weed moose? Something, something yeah, oh yeah. Where'd this moose come from? Zone 28. Nice. Backyard. Who got who got this moose? I, I should say. I got the moose. We was on Moosehead, headed for Northeast Cary. And, it, and he got a text message that said, you just got drawn. Nice! Rough the night. day of the drawing. Yep. That's a good feeling, isn't it? Rough, rough night on the lake. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so we went up to Moosehead. You know when I got drawn again? Started putting cameras out all summer. Found some really nice bulls. Got permission on uh, Moral Wister's land to hunt. And put a couple cameras in there and it was just 
stove up all, every day it was more, more tracks so we hunted in there so i hauled monday morning hunted monday night hauled tuesday morning hunted tuesday night and i had all wednesday to hunt and i got some pictures that night on my cell camera of that of a bull in there all alone that was perfect that's where we're going first thing so we didn't dare drive in in the road till it was legal shoot because you could see a moose anyway and i was sitting there waiting for the guys because they stayed at camp and i stayed at the house that night met him at the mouth of the road my brother got in because he was my subcommittee he was driving i got in the passenger seat we were riding in and come around the corner and i looked up and there was just there's a whole herd of moose running up over this cot <laughs> i was like whoa stop and i got out and didn't even put my clip in at first got out bought my scope caps look and i said cow cow man that looks like decent bull so i turned my scope up more I said, oh yeah put a bullet in jacked her probably i think we pasted it, it was like 100 and 160 paces nice and he was trotting up across there and boom and he hunched up it's like it was so far away you fired then you heard i was like oh yeah perfect i jacked another one in fired right before he went out of sight and i saw he kept going i was fumbling around in the truck trying to find more shells you know i just, just can't find nothing Got the clip loaded up, started walking up across the cot. I was like, man, he was standing right here. And I got looking at the grass. It was this tall brown grass. It was just like someone had a spray, like a can of spray paint, just spraying it. I was like, well, he's gonna be here somewhere. My father looked up and he said, how about that one laying right there? Walked up to it, it was a nice 42 inch bull. <laughs> got lucky. Nice, 750, 800? I was uh, seven, 730. Nice. Yeah. Perfect. Good eater. He's been good so far. Ain't bad this morning. No. Pretty good yeah. right now. Yeah. Fantastic. Nice. Yeah, I, I seen it twirling. It just went up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've seen it go a half dozen times, you know, four or five wraps around good. And, uh, you were just bad mouthing this camera. I was. You were? I was. I said, I don't know about these two, it's not, they haven't done nothing. But what are you going to do with you going to spread them? He's either good or he don't. I'd say, huh? I think there's a lot of line missing off this. Sure looks like it. Wasn't this one cool again? Yeah. yeah. Feels like a drop. This for sure. There is? He's got him. Yeah. Yeah, I felt the nose right there, so I'm just going to rip and make sure he's set. <laughs> Definitely a fish on that. Yeah. Yeah. There's tightness now. Oh yeah, he's way he over. Back, he come back on it heavy. Holy cow. I feel still. 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 Yeah, it will. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He's getting bigger. Yeah, bottom one. Bottom. Oh, that's swivel right there. Oh, nice, nice one. one. That one. Fuck off right there. That was a rough snake. What'd you do? Oh, you broke? Oh, I ripped it right out of his lips. <laughs> ripped off the line. That's probably the biggest of the day. So Another dark one out here, huh? Nice one. Pretty fish. Is that the biggest one you've ever caught? No. No. Nice one, Cameron. So the togue bite has kind of slowed down for today. It's a lot slower than it was yesterday. We got an east wind blowing, and I don't know if you guys hear this much, but where I grew up, if the wind blows from the east, the fish bite the least. Wind blows from the west, fish bite the best. So it's usually a tough day of fishing when you got a good hard east wind. We got 15, 17 mile an hour east wind blowing on us. So you notice the togue are negative. They're dropping the bait a lot. We're not getting hooks into them. They're not really eating. They're kind of tripping some flags, but not really taking it. What we're going to do is we're going to move some some of these traps in, probably take uh, two or three. Brandon and I will take two or three in, maybe even four, and set them up for salmon. So we're going to move some in for landlocked salmon, see if we can catch a couple good ones. Set some salmon sets in on the beach, looking for some shoal water, you know, 10, 12 feet or less. Pretty deep, steep shoreline here, hoping for a catch a couple afternoon salmon. Small hooks, smelt. This is a great salmon fishery. They look the fish all the fish look great in this lake right now. A lot of salmon here. They're, they're nice fish. They really are. And we've been fishing for toad. Well, how come we've been fishing for toad? Uh, we always look for the bigger fish, <laughs> but you can put a lot more numbers on the board fishing in shoal, but don't count a laker out either in, in the shoal water. I've caught them in five, six, seven feet of water before. Just underneath the ice. It doesn't even matter how deep we are, right? No. Nope. Fish. Fish are chasing the smelts up underneath the ice. 
like this one right here, my split shots, just clear in the ice, probably, you know, 24 inches underneath the ice. When these salmon hit, watch out. They really spool on a line, real rocky bottom here. They wrap you up a lot, but uh, see what happens. Too much for how shallow we go, that don't feel good. <laughs> no, I noticed that. Rock? Oh yeah, heavy. There's a chance. No, that's, oh, come out with salmon on there. I, I freaked your bottom marker up. Oh. No, there was no bottom marker. Oh, sorry. Nice salmon. Nice. Yes, sir. Nice. Wow, that's a pretty fish. Yeah, they're beautiful. Holy yeah, Look at that salmon. Wow. Beauty. Four or five year old, that double clip right there. He's got a little, little scar on him right there. Pretty. Any interest? Yeah, probably. You guys don't mind keeping a couple no, of them? No, we don't. No, absolutely yeah, not. If keep you, them, if yeah. Great eater. I got, I got a guy, an old guy, who loves to smoke them. <laughs> uh, give him the old Chuck Norris chop. <laughs> <laughs> he dead. He gone. Oh, right here. I don't think he'll mind if I catch this fish. Thanks, Brandon. Oh, jeez, look at that salmon. Wow, what a beauty. Nice salmon. Look at the size of that nice landlocked salmon there, how fat he is. Got that clip fan, I guess caught what Colin was saying. That fish has been in this lake four years now. But that's another nice one. Nice landlocker right there, bud. Sorry, Brandon, for doing you dirty like that, but I couldn't get you guys out of the shack, and it the line had wrapped around your post like 10 times and was not going anywhere, so that fish needed to get reeled in. Wow, football. in the jig hole. Unreal. <laughs> oh my god. I was just about to switch lures so I reeled my jig up into the hole. It was like this this far down under the hole and this little salmon came and whacked it. Let's get him back in. <laughs> that was awesome. I don't think that counts as my first jig salmon when you're not holding the rod. <laughs> We go to Arby's for lunch out there in Ohio, me and Jesse and Dad and Bobby. And so we pull into Arby's and we eat our lunch and we leave. We dump our trays out and we leave. We're almost back to the camp, probably 10, 12 miles away or something. And uh, Dad says, I left my glasses there. I said, Dad, you probably didn't even have them when you come here. No, I'm telling you right now, I seen a deer in the back end of a field. I, I have my glasses on the ride over here. <laughs> like, no, oh, you, you better check back at camp. So we went back to camp. No, no, I, I'm telling you right now, I'm pretty sure they were right on my tray and I dumped them right in the trash. Jesse's like, get in the truck, Steven, we'll go over. Over they go. Pull into Arby's, trash truck just backing in. Oh, no. <laughs> that's what like, that's like, yep, yeah, Jesse, there goes my glasses right in that trash truck. <laughs> <laughs> so he runs through the door and there's about 10 people in line and he cuts them all. Excuse me, dear, excuse me, dear. I, uh, can I look through that trash? And she's like, she was just tying a trash bag up to take out of the trash truck. The, the lady's like, what? Can you what? He's like, I, I need to look through that trash bag. She's like, sir, I can't let you dig through the trash. He's like, no, I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure I dumped my glasses right in that trash bag. So she's, I'll get them for you. So she opens up the trash bag. Yup, right there. Mayonnaise, mustard, 
<laughs> Dad slides him right on. <laughs> yep, your mother would have killed me if I'd have lost enough pair of glasses. <laughs> he's like, I'll wipe them off, sir. No, I don't even care. I'm just a happy happy. <laughs> 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 kind of just made on. Look at all the line going off. Oh, yeah. Oh. You know how his pools are. Let's go down here for B. This was half a sucker. Oh, I, didn't, I didn't feel that. <laughs> Ripped the face right off. Uh, okay. That's what this guy. He don't know a thing. <laughs> <laughs> he even had to borrow my sounder for Christ's oh. sake. Some fisherman. Will you ever get it back? Probably not. Yeah. How many sounders do you guys start the year with? Well, I usually start I lost with three, my first and I get yesterday down the hole. Then I end up giving them to Brandon, so I end up with none. I never <laughs> lose them, but I buy about twelve sounders. And by the end of the year, I don't have a yeah. one. I find them in the track. I find them in the. Well, that just changed direction, didn't it? There's something going on here. There's more than bait down there. Like you get as much tension as you almost want to set the hook, and it's just like not there. You know yeah. what I mean? Are you still fighting that same fish? Good one, Bryn? I don't like to talk up turn. I don't think it's no donkey, but it could be an over with. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing? Oh, or if it was... You've had a good enough roll, I think I can check you guys out. It's been the same over here. Yeah. <laughs> had a few flags here and there, but yeah, I'm done with it. Ryan caught one six pounder on the salmon set. That was yeah. the only action we really yeah. had. One decent salmon. Yeah. This one's stuck out. You're doing a mile long. Oh. It's not a big one, I can tell you that right yeah. now. Whoa! Pretty lake, eh? What's wrong with that fish? No. Nice one. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That. Pretty good. That that's alright. I'll donate him to West Grand. Thank you, buddy. Still good hook or no? Just like that, huh? Where's your granddad? <laughs> Got some Lewiston lobsters cooking. That's right. right. Lewiston <laughs> lobsters! <laughs> 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 They're way more expensive than lobsters. Yeah. He was rolling. Was it rolling? It was. It just stopped. Peeling good? Yeah, it peeled pretty good. Look at and it hit it hard because it's wide open. Oh yeah. Peeling double china. Peeling. Is it? It w oh, it started again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good. That means he just swallowed it. It yeah, stopped it for stopped a long time. For, it stopped for the whole time you've been coming in here. It just took off again. Nice. Oh, yeah. He's gone somewhere. Isn't it? Yeah. White fish. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, you guys want to eat one. What's up, man? That's a nice whitey, isn't it? So you ain't gonna make it. Double shy of that thing, Tuck? I'm not sure. Whatever it is, it's right there in the smell. That looks like a smelt. Nice white no, fish. No, that's a shiner. Double, two shiners that size right there. Nice. That's a fat whitey calling. Yeah, it is. You ain't gonna make it either. No, we gotta keep that one. Huh? <laughs> <Nice shot. laughs> Cruising the ice heavy, isn't it? Look how dark it is. Yeah. Nice. Who caught it? Me. Nice. Well, I was just gonna move a trap to a better spot. So. Yeah, that looks like a dandy spot. It's way much better than here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Thank you.
Feels big for being a long ways away, Colin. Big head nods. Long ways apart. Yeah, call wall. Wall. This fish is 150 yards out right now. Oh, heavy dead weight right Looks now. Looks heavy, yeah. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Looks heavy. Coming at me pretty good. Oh, I felt something slip. Oh. Oh. It looks like he's got some good weight. Oh, yeah. Coming up fast right now. But I think I got a bottom block. Can't remember. I don't think it's no 10 pounder unless I'm. Just a lake. Another one on the ice. He yeah. Knows, he knows I get my bait. Anybody? I don't. I got none. <laughs> I got a pair of pliers in my. Nice one, Thank bud. you, buddy. Well, we're about to lose one guy, so Colin's heading out. We're going to see you again this trip? Oh, yeah. I'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to stay the night tomorrow. Awesome. So we'll see him tomorrow. Yeah. He he numbed some pretty good fish today, right? Yeah, I got four. I ended up with four. Not a bad day. Nice. So he's got yep. some stuff he's got tending to. Right. Had a lot worse. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Down to town, and he'll be back. Good day bright, of fishing, bright right? Bright and early. Oh, yeah. Always a good day on the grand. Yep. I'd say it might have been a tough bite today. But, geez, we still iced 15 plus. Oh, there. yeah. I think mine was 16, wasn't it? That 16? Yeah. yeah. Seems slow, Six, but. 16 or 17. Really not that bad. We can't really complain. No, the other groups we talked to said three. Oh, yeah. So yeah. Two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah. See you tomorrow. See ya. We're shifting over for a giant, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Try some new bottom tomorrow. Maybe some burbot tonight. See what happens. Nice. So we're Maybe moving. Six more for 25 tonight. And we're moving all the shacks and all the gear. Moving all the shacks, moving all the gear, about probably three quarters of a mile to a mile. Not bad. You guys are animals. In search of cusk nuggets. Cusk yeah. nuggets. <laughs> I love it. Get hurt? You all right? <laughs> what happened? You got a P Peter Griffin knee? Yeah. Ah. Ah. The Peter Griffin. Would it, oh, would it help if I? Happened, hey, would it help if I sat on it with you? <laughs> it would. Okay. Oh. Hold on, I'll set over again. Okay. Give me five. Yeah. <laughs> 15. High five or low? No. There was more snow. It should take off. It's just digging down that bare ice. Can I get it going, yeah?
right, guys, we just made the move. We right. are in a different part of the lake now. We just got set up for cask. I got five lines out. Cameron's got- I got one. One line out, that's oh, all he needs. He's been hot out here. Yeah, that's right. Back again. <laughs> Welcome back, Bob. We got the reinforcements here. Didn't take me too long, did it? Nope. <laughs> I thought I was coming back tomorrow, but I just couldn't resist. Nice. That's a bait knife, but that's all right. No, did we, no. We, no, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, Brandon just used it to cut the potatoes and onions and everything else. So, What are we working on for dinner here, fellas? Oh, we're going to have four cheeseburgers with some pepper jack cheese, some uh, fried up potatoes and onions, garlic salt. Man. I think it's definitely going to fill the void, don't you? So. All right, guys, that is the end of day two. Absolutely great day. We ended up with 19 fish. Still got maybe an hour left of the day. It's pretty late. I got some cusk lines still out. If you don't hear back from me, we didn't catch any cusk. They, we haven't had a flag yet since we moved over here and switched over to cusk fishing at night. Ah, he's in the rocks too. You can feel this guy moving. There we go. Freed him up. Feels pretty good unless he's still wrapped on a rock. Look at that cask. So wait, big old cask. All right, look at that burbot, baby. Nice big old fat burbot. Boys are finally gonna get some cask nuggets in them. I'm gonna show them what the best tasting fish in Maine tastes like, cask. All in all, absolute great day. That was what we call the West Grand Slam now. It's a salmon, lake trout, white fish, and cusk all keeper size all good fish and just had an awesome day really looking forward to tomorrow might push a little harder on the salmon try to shoot a slamming salmon episode and we'll, we'll also have a couple sets out for giant togue too because how could you resist a, a fish of a lifetime and they are in this lake thanks for tuning in guys tune in tomorrow for even more action than today i hope we'll see Got some leg to him. Yeah.
What you chewing on this? Yeah. A little pepperoni. You got your pepperoni stick? <laughs>